have nobody else, shit. First off, I want to say, uh, white people, you're welcome. You're welcome not only for me gracing this stage, but for getting another day off of work for Juneteenth. You're welcome, white people. You know what I'm saying? That's the least y'all could do, goddammit. it. The fuck you, know what I'm saying? You, you mean to tell me we did all that marching and all that protesting to get a day off of work? That's the stupidest shit. We already goddamn collecting all this unemployment. Now, we don't need a day off. I, I've been off for a while. I don't need that stupid shit. That shit is ridiculous. They, they said, hell with reparations. Give them a day off. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll solve the shit. No, it's not going to solve it. We're going to be right back out there in July. Watch what I tell you. You better stay out of Target. We fucking them up first. That's why it's called a Target. It's a Target. When shit go down, that's the first place you go. You fuck up a Target. That's just how it goes. <laughs> That shit is crazy. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Ain't nobody said it all night. Happy Father's Day. For all the daddies there. If you a daddy, clap right now if you a daddy. Man, a lot of people in here using condoms, I see. I see. Ain't nobody daddies in here tonight. I see what's going on. That shit is crazy. I called my father today. I said, Pops, what you want for Father's Day? He said, you know what I want? I said, yeah, tell me. Tell me what you want. He said, I want you to not call me and ask me for shit. I said, well, hey, I want the irony in that. <laughs> you mean for Father's Day you want to not be a father? That's the stupidest shit. But I feel him though. He said, you know what I want for Father's Day? I want the money that you owe me. I said, hey, hey, damn that. That shit ain't gonna happen either. I'm about to pay you back. I, I, I can't pay that debt back. Ain't no way. I owe him too much. I love my father though. My father, he's a, he's a wild boy, but I love him to death, man. I love him to death. He tell me all the time how I wasn't supposed to be here. You know, I got two older sisters. I was clearly a mistake. But I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with it. He tell me all the time, you know, if I went to sleep that night, you wouldn't be here. I said, I know, Pop. You tell me all the time. You tell me all the time. You know, that's cool with me. I ain't even tripping off that. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you stayed up a little later that night. <laughs> I appreciate that. It's hard being a daddy, though, man. It's hard being a daddy. I know from experience. I used to be a daddy myself. That's what I said. Used to be. Yeah, that shit is crazy. I used to be a father. I had a little boy. He was four years old. Then I got a text from my ex-baby mama one day. She gonna tell me, hey, uh, we gonna need to get a paternity test because I'm having some doubts. I'm thinking, the paternity test? I'm gonna need a lawyer. I don't know what... I might whoop your ass over this, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this has been four years. I told her four years of daycare and insurance. That's a long time. I can't get none of that money back. I was like, no, I ain't gonna do that. I love the Lord. You know, you know that boy died for me. You know, I can't be out here just doing whatever I want to do. You know, it took about two weeks. We went and got the test done. I got the results back. Long story short, the kid ended up not being mine. Tough day. Ain't no all, because I know where she stay at. We can ride tonight. How, how bad do you feel? You know what I'm saying? I, I know where she at right now. We can come with me. You know what I'm saying? I got plenty of space in the whip. What y'all trying to do? You know, what I'm you know but it was rough, though. It, it was really rough, you know, having to accept that, you know, I raised this little boy. I saw him come out the womb. Childbirth is the wildest shit I ever seen. It looked like squeezing a walnut out of a plastic bag. I didn't know. That's the wildest thing I ever seen was childbirth. What y'all tell you? The wild, I'm, it's so crazy, man. The childbirth was just an amazing thing to see. And then to actually realize that the kid not even mad, that's the stupidest shit. I'm in the hospital giving her ice and water and shit for a baby that's not even mad. That's the dumbest shit. I was crushed for about two weeks, though. For about two weeks, I was really hurt. Them first two weeks, uh, when I got my first check and I ain't had to pay no daycare, shit. <laughs> Fuck them kids, you know what I'm saying? I got my life back, you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn that, them kids, hey. Damn, I don't, don't want to be on father no more. Damn that. I, I didn't got through that. I tried to stay around, though. That's the crazier part, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I've been here since the boy been born. I can't just leave a young black kid out here with no father. It's already enough of that going around. But after having a baby mama for four years, I can understand why people get out of that shit. I, I, really, <laughs> I really understand why people are like, you know what, hell with this. I'm going about my life. This, this is the stupidest shit. <laughs> I tried to stick in there, though. I did. I, I tried the hardest I could. Then the first time I saw him after I got the results, you know what I'm saying? He was like, hey, daddy. I said, ho, ho, ho. Don't call me daddy. That's my slave name. <laughs> I'm a free man now. You don't call me daddy no more. I don't know. What to... Call me guy that come with gifts. That's what you call me. Guy with gifts. That's what you call me. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear daddy no more. That's the stupidest shit. 
tried to trap me for my little $15 an hour. I can't believe it. I tried to get all my little check. I can't believe that shit. I should have known it was signs that happened along the way that I would have known that this kid won't mind. He was four years old and he was 6'2". <laughs> but a part of me thought that was just God answering my prayers. Because I prayed. I said, God, please don't let this boy be built like me. It's a rough life when you fast seven and you bad built. You know what I'm saying? I'm built like a crock pot. I understand that. I know what it is. I know I got preteen titties. I'm working on it, though. I'll be in the gym and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get myself together. But I'm like, damn. I was like, damn. I can't, I can't just have this little boy out here. The worst part was telling my family. You know, I had to, you got to go tell your family. I had to go tell my parents that their grandson and their grandson is just a little nigga they know. I don't want to. <laughs> Like, how, like how, do, how do you explain that to kids? You know what I'm saying? Like, to your parents? I told my mom, I said, well, look, ma, you know, this, you know, I got a test, you know, a paternity test, and the kid ended up not being mad, but I don't think I'm really going to hang around. My mama had the nerve to tell me, well, you know, the test really don't matter. That's what I said. Shit. She mean the test don't matter. This is the same woman that whooped my ass for failing a spelling test in seventh grade. Would you? This the test that matters. Like that test didn't matter. What you mean? Yo, that's the stupidest shit. My pops was like, hey, you got your life back. Hey, I'm, congratulations, son. I wish I didn't have you. I said, you know what? You, you could have left that part out. You, you, you could have left that part out. Life has been good though, man. When you go from a daddy to not being a daddy. You know how much sympathy cootie cat I've been getting the last couple years, man? I don't know. Oh, man. Women love a, a, a man that raises kids. Women love that shit. They love, I'm trying to tell you, they love that. That's why I don't understand deadbeat fathers. You know how much cootie cat you would get if you would just take care of your responsibilities? Women just be throwing themselves at me. I be telling them this story. It was like, I can't believe she did that to you. Come on, get some of this. Come on, get some of this right here. I said, okay, baby. I'm going to do the best I can, boo. I don't know. Shit is rough, man. It's ruined my dating life, though. It's really ruined my dating life because I don't trust women. I don't trust them. I feel like the karma, you know, because before I became a father, I was, you know, I was a wild boy out in these streets. I ain't afraid, so I was a wild boy, you know what I'm saying? You know, y'all see me, y'all see how good I look. You know what I'm saying? I had one, you know, I could give, I'd give me a little cootie cat on a Friday night if I needed it, you know what I'm saying? When, when you live a life like that, that karma coming back to you, boy, it's always going to spin the block. And it just happened to spin the block in the worst way possible for me. But it's just hard to trust women, man. You know, that's why. I, and when I was in a relationship with his mama, you know, I dealt with other people in relationships. Because, you know, that just makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a relationship, you're in a relationship. Let's cheat together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm cheating, you cheating, we both cheating. So we both got something to lose. That means we both going to be careful. It only makes sense. You don't cheat with single people. That's that's why that's how y'all be messing up. Ain't that right, old school? You ever cheated? No. Oh yeah, that's your wife. I know. Don't you ain't gotta lie. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? If you do cheat, make sure you cheat with somebody that's married to. It's gonna save your life. Last woman I was dealing with, man, she tried to cut me off because she got a boyfriend. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> That ain't got nothing to do with me. So it's cool that I risk my life, but you can't risk your life. That's the stupidest shit. She tried to cut me off. I was blowing that phone up every day. I was blowing her phone up, FaceTiming her and everything. I FaceTimed her one day, and her man picked the phone up. I said, oh, my God. He said, man, who the hell are you? I said, uh, I've been trying to reach you for your car's extended warranty. <laughs> And he's so stupid, he said, baby, hey, these extended warranty people are getting slick. I tell you this. <laughs> he was so stupid. <laughs> I kept it going, though, boy. I kept it going. Until one day I ended up taking her to a Texas roll house. I'm in there chilling, you know what I'm saying, eating my little green beans, my little, my little smothered pork chop. The next thing I see him walk through the door, he said, boy, ain't, ain't, you, ain't you the extended warranty guy? I said, yeah, I'm trying to sell her an extended package right now. You messing it up. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm sitting here running around the table with him like, look, brother, look, I didn't try to listen. Listen, she, she wanted to give me the cootie cat. Don't do that. I'm walking around the table trying to keep the table between me and him. More or less story is deal with single people. You don't need to do that in your life. You don't need to. There's plenty of people out here that ain't got nobody. Clap your hands if you ain't got nobody. See how depressing that was? See how depressing that was? They can't wait to meet somebody that ain't got nobody too. That's the stupidest shit. 
I gotta say happy Pride Month too. Happy Pride Month to everybody that's celebrating Pride Month. Anybody celebrate Pride Month? Y'all celebrate Pride Month? Yeah. So y'all gay? Oh yeah. That's cool. That's hey, gay people. How y'all doing? Good. Y'all just a three, three, three's a company. Oh, you ain't gay. <laughs> oh, you are. But oh, he trying to not disown them like you ain't. <laughs> I went to DC this weekend, though. I went to DC last weekend. I went to DC last weekend. And I didn't realize like DC is like the mecca of the gayness. You know what I'm saying? You see how y'all like, yeah, it was some ooh, a lot of gay stuff going on up there. I didn't know. Ain't nobody tell me. I just went up there like I need a little R and R, you know. I'm in there, I'm going to the club or whatnot. I'm in the club, I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I seen this thick little joint in there, you know what I'm saying? She was Fat as hell, I mean, big stupid, big stupid ass. Big, just ass ain't know what to do. Ass just ass. Titties, big titties, big long titties. I can tell she had that big areola with like high school lunch cookies. I can tell. I ain't even see the areola, but I know that areola was at least this big. I knew it. Something in my mind told me that was a big areola, you know what I'm saying? So I pull up on her as I do, you know, because I was trying to get balls deep in them titties, you know what I'm saying? That's just the type of nigga I am, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all I did. You know, so we in there chilling and whatnot. She tell, she pull up on me, she talking real cute to me all in the club. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to get me a little cootie cat tonight. So we get outside, and she was like, hey, what you about to do? I said, I'm going with you. She said, cool. She was like, come on, get in the car with me. When I said that, I was like, all right, hold on a minute. Let me run to my car. I need to get some condoms. She looked at me and she said, what you need condoms for? I said, I'm not about to get you pregnant tonight, ma'am. I'm not about to, I just met you. I know the Lord. I don't be out here raw dogging for no reason. And she would say, oh my God, you're a man? I said, what you mean am I a man? She said, I thought you was a stud. I said, why would you think that I was a stud? Like what in the mind? She said, you ain't got no facial hair. You got little eight cup titties. I said, okay. Touche, bitch, touche. You know, I didn't. <laughs> Look, man, y'all been great. I'm gonna get on up out of here. Y'all follow me on Instagram at Hell Funny.